So I had a mentor also tell me when you start your professional career, you need to categorize your professional career into three columns. Are you debating on becoming an engineer or to go down that hard four year degree? I'm an engineer, by the way, mechanical engineer in Canada and reap the rewards of all the labor that you had to put in all the study time. If you're debating that question, you want guidance, you want a little bit of virtual mentorship, this is the video for you. So should you study engineering or not? The short answer is it really depends. It's such a variable answer and it's going to be different for everyone. So if you're a youth or someone who wants to study engineering, you got to ask yourself first, who are you? Sorry if there was a, there was a loud car going there. Someone engineered the design of that engine to make it loud, right? So I guess to give context, all of my closest friends are engineers. They're either software, chemical engineers, electrical, or mechanical like myself. And the depends portion of why study engineering is you have to ask yourself with this day and age of the landscape of the job market changing with artificial intelligence becoming a big industry niche market, I guess it's going to be in every single sector. You got to ask yourself is four years, four years, is a lot of time where you have to grind. I believe engineering I don't believe I know engineering is probably the hardest undergrad and debate me if I'm wrong. It's the hardest four year degree you can ever do. So in Canada, you first start out in your general first year. I went to the University of Alberta and let me tell you the amount of people that failed or dropped out after that first year was ridiculous. Our professor in one class told us to all look beside each other and they looked at us and it's like, Hey, look beside your classmates. These guys will not be here next year, meaning that only one third of the class from first year stays. So you're really in a world of quote unquote hell for four years. It's a lot of grind. And if you can't stomach that, you should not go into engineering. That's just the basic foundation of if you should go into engineering or not. The second thing is you have to ask yourself, do I want to do engineering because of the money? So I'm from an Asian background growing up doctor, lawyer, engineer. That's all I heard. And you would think, oh, if you become an engineer, you're going to make a lot of money. You're going to be financially stable. Well, that's completely wrong right now. I'm not saying that it is for every market because North America is big. You can become a mechanical engineer at Apple, like my friend who's making good money down in California, but different markets call for different needs. So engineers now are plentiful, right? There's so many engineers. I believe when I was at the U of A, I looked at the class photo, the graduating class of 1988, 50 something people, less than a hundred. Now they're pumping them out like babies. There's like 1500 in a grad class. Think about how saturated the market is with engineers. So not only are you going to be doing four years of hard schooling, whether you're software or mechanical, I don't care. It's going to be hard either way. You're now in an oversaturated market. So you're not going to be making as much money. And I'm telling you that is that from experience from friends who are in the traditional engineering route, it's a slow, steady grind up until you're in a good position in a good sector that has a lot of cash flow going in there because everything is defined by your market sector. And that's when you get a good salary. That's when you can finally say you made it. But when you study engineering and just finish your four years, you have not made anything. In fact, you're going to be working way harder. You're going to be working to fight for that next promotion. The only other industry that makes money just like that is my friends in software engineering. They make a lot of money right out the get go. The only issue is as I record this video, software sector is down. People in India and Asia can code just as good as you. And with the help of AI, coding has become a commodity. So you really have to be the best of the best if you want to be a good software engineer, software architecture, etc. in that space. But software makes a lot of money right out the gates. If you have a passion for coding, go into software engineering. So again, it all depends because I want to go into software engineering when I first started. Then I realized I hated coding. I would hate my life for the rest of my life if I decided to go into software engineering. And as a mechanical, I've done all the work, but 
consulting and design work. I technically am a consultant in my sales gig. I am in the commercial and industrial space and I got a very niche position as a sales engineer. Most engineers don't go down that path. They go down the traditional path of designing. So if you do have a passion for designing, you want to design automobiles, buildings, structures, work on a rocket with Elon Musk at Tesla, then go into mechanical engineering because you're going to learn the necessary skills, which in any discipline of engineering is critical thinking. You're gonna learn that skill and you're gonna be able to succeed in any work environment. That's the one thing that I don't regret about going into engineering. To give context, I really want to be an entrepreneur, go into business. I only ask myself, can I do business if I can't finish this four year degree? So I got an engineering degree, which again, I think is the hardest degree out there. But when you go through engineering, you learn how to critically think. You realize in the world, a lot of people can't critically think. So that's one skill set that will never leave you, is the critical thinking skill set, whether you're, again, in any discipline of engineering. So I had a mentor also tell me when you start your professional career, you need to categorize your professional career into three columns. Your happiness, your status, and the finances, the money. So with engineering, I asked myself, you need to ask yourself the same thing. What are you seeing in those three columns with the career path you choose? With a software engineer, you might have all three of them. You might be addicted and love coding and you're going to make the money. So you're happy you are addicted to coding and all engineers have status. So there, boom, you're covered. But if you're someone, again, this is why the short answer is should you go into engineering? It depends on who you are. Short answer to the long answer, and I'm all over the place. These are raw talks is you need to understand who you are. If you're chasing money, go get a BCom degree, go get a finance degree, right? If you know you have the work ethic, which is needed for this four year degree, and you wanna make money, you don't care about design, you have this perspective that, oh, engineers make a lot of money, don't go into engineering. You can definitely go into another position with a finance degree where you're gonna make money out the gates while working hard and utilizing that hard work correctly. Engineers do make money. I believe the statistic for a majority of millionaires are engineers, but they started their own business. They became principals at a consultant firm, a principal consultant, meaning they own the firm. And that's business again. And that takes time. That takes decades, not just years, not just coming out of school. And yeah, you'll, you'll start to see that salary increase when you become a PE, a professional engineer. And that takes about four years in my country. So that's my analysis of the question, should you become a engineer? And that's speaking from me, I'm an engineer, finished two years ago and I've worked two years worth of internships. So I have almost half a decade worth of engineering experience. I'm an entrepreneur as well. My name's Dylan. I have a marketing agency, been doing that for a year and a half, started my first business in university while I was studying engineering a lawn care and snow removal landscaping business. So subscribe if this video helped you. DM me on Instagram if you have any questions about engineering. I'm a mechanical engineer, but my network is full of engineers in all the different disciplines. There's such a vast, uh, I guess, array of answers to this question and different people can speak differently on it. But I thought I'd give my two cents. Hopefully you found this video valuable. I should make the next video, should you be an engineer and how to actually succeed in school? Because like I said, only one third make it past that first year and continue on towards getting their engineering degree, right? And now, even now with 1500 plus engineering being pumped out like babies, these institutes want to control, I guess not control, but they want to get a lot of people into these first year programs so that they can make money. They're a business themselves. So subscribe if you found this video helpful. I'm talking a bit fast because my camera's gonna die and I usually like to do these videos in one take based off of real life experience. But yeah, like my mentor said, categorize those three values into your professional career and you should be able to answer the question, should you be the engineer? I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching.